How does it feel to win your maiden LPGA title? Um, it, I, I can't even describe it. I mean, I've been obviously working my whole life for this. I've been dreaming about it since I was a kid. Um, you know, I just feel like 10 years now coming in going, wondering, is it ever going to happen? When's it going to happen? And I just feel like this year's been very much uh, kind of aligning. Things are falling together, and I just was trying to stay patient and wait for my time. The outpouring of emotion there on the 18th green as the realization hit you. Is that a culmination of all those years of hard work? I, I, I believe so. I still think I'm in shock. I feel like the tears are going to come later when all quiets down. I feel like just I'm, I'm more excited and more happy and just, you know, just the hours spent, the grind, the, you know, the heartache that this sport brings, um, constant travel. I just feel like I just for this moment, I, I hope that it only happens again and again. You haven't led a tournament after round three. I mean, you looked in complete control throughout today. How did you keep all that pressure away just to perform at the level that you did? Um, you know, I, I, I haven't. You're right. I thought about that last night. I have to say I was kind of nervous last night, uh, trying to keep myself occupied, um, stay away from my phone a bit. Um, but, you know, it's just um, my friend Cheyenne, she reminded me of, you know, just staying in the process and in the moment, you know, do what I did the last three days. Um, I have never been at the top coming into Sunday. I've always felt like I've been chasing. So, um, you know, it was a different feeling. But at the same time as, you know, playing with a good group, Charlie and Araya, I just felt like I really, you know, I just stick to the, you know, try to keep up and see where things fell, um, try to keep pressing uh, while just sticking to my game plan. With those players that you mentioned and Lydia as well, sort of breathing down your neck in the groups behind, how important was that birdie on 15 and then your tee shot on 16? You know, I, I tried to not look at the leaderboard. I tried to just trust in my caddy to, um, you know, kind of guide me to whether we needed to lay off or get aggressive, um, stay patient or whatnot. I, you know, it wasn't until 18 that I saw that Lydia was, you know, not far off. And um, I kind of could tell that when I made the birdie on 17 that there must have been some sort of gap. As people were cheering, and I was like, okay. <laughs> were you following the game plan that you, you told me about yesterday, just one shot at a time? That's how you're going to approach today? Yeah, I really did. Like I said, I, I honestly, honestly had to think about what I even shot um, on 18. I Once I looked at the board, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm eight under for the day. I was like, let's try. I want to make this to break my tournament record. So just for playing, I've only had eight under. I would like to hit, shoot nine under. But... Um, I, no complaints here. Just a short, short journey to Canusti now for next week's tournament. Dare you dream? Uh, I, you know what, one shot at a time, as good as I can. Um, I do want to say thank you though to Trust Golf for making this event happen. Um, without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Um, for Dunbarney Links, you set up a wonderful golf course. Uh, for only a year old, it is in fabulous shape. And um, you know, I, when the wind was up, I was super excited to play a Lynx golf course that had wind and exactly what I anticipated and wanted to happen. So thank you to you both. I just, I, I wouldn't be here without you guys. Um, I do want to say thanks to my sponsors. Um, Holiday and Clovacations has been with me forever. Um, they've, you know, I just feel like uh, PXG, Bob and Renee Parsons, you know, big supporters, my new sponsor Peloton. Um, and, I, and I just feel like with them, without them, you know, without that support, the constant year after year, me trying to chase my dream, them constantly believing me, never giving up. I want to say thanks to my parents. Um, they've been there since day one. Um, and, you know, t to FaceTime them when I got done was just unbelievable. And then my, my fiance, Gina, I just, you know, to have someone here with me on this day, I had always dreamed of winning and at least having, you know, someone close, like, here with me to sh share it. So I'm thankful for all of you guys to come out and to be a part of this, and thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And so so enjoy. Congratulations from all of us. Thank you.